consultant at the Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida. Her research interest is in the development of new strategies for the treatment of disease. In particular, her team is developing extracellular vesicle therapeutics and methods for drug delivery. So think about the possibilities in using some of these technologies for gynecologic diseases. We're not there yet, but in the future, this may uh, become a main way we're treating patients. So please welcome Dr. Wolfram. So thank you to the organizers for having me. Um, this is not my field of expertise, but I'm really happy to be part of, of this conference and to share uh, multidisciplinary ideas. And today I'll give you a TED talk and I'll share a personal story. And so it was a Sunday afternoon two years ago and my, my phone was ringing, so I picked it up, and the voice said, it's Rebecca, I'm just calling to invite you to my funeral. I said, Rebecca, what are you talking about? She said, Joy, as my friend, you have to let me go, it's my time. And the next day, she was dead. Rebecca was 31 years old when she died. She had an eight-year struggle with breast cancer. It came back three times. I failed her. The scientific community failed her, and the medical community failed her. And as you know, she's not the only one. Every three seconds, someone dies of cancer. And the US government alone has spent over $100 billion since the 1970s on cancer research with limited progress, especially in regard to survival of certain types of aggressive cancers. So we need a change because clearly what we've been doing so far has not been working. And today, we researchers are committed to having Rebecca, and people like her, be one of the last patients that we fail. And cancer is like a big fire. And what we do in medicine is send out firefighters